my new go-to. Tell him to come on and start pulling him in and he'll flop down. Today's first reading is from Romans. We're now in chapter 6. And Paul tells us, you're no, longer you're no longer cloaked in sin. Don't let sin rule your body. You're now in righteousness and grace. Let that be the guide of your body. In Psalm 124, we hear, oh my gosh, what do we hear? It's always a phrase that's kind of in every, I know this sounds bad, it's kind of a everyday phrase, what is it? The Lord leads us, or listen, ah, it matches with the rest of the readings. Psalm 124, uh, one of the verses is, see I can't go back and research it because I'm on this. Um, The Lord leads. What is it? Following the Lord's name, or something about the Lord's name. And in the Gospel, we have Gospel of Luke, chapter twelve, still thirty-five to thirty-nine, I believe. And Jesus says um, to the disciples, "If the." owner of the house knew when the robber was coming the thief in the middle of the night he'd be ready do not um and then he tell and then peter says lord is this directed to us and jesus says let me tell you a parable if a master leaves his steward in charge of the food while he goes away on a trip and the steward uh takes care and and of the household and feeds those uh or if he doesn't and he mistreats the manservants and the maid servants and gets drunk and eats and gets drunk then when the master comes he will have that servant beaten and he says but if he does what he's supposed to do the master will give him even more uh responsibility so um and there was a little another part and um so anyway the idea is to to always be ready i don't want to belabor this we want to be ready constantly so that's uh we and we are ready by calling out the name of the lord jesus will come there's that prayer i heard this earlier there's the uh i want to say one of the orthodox prayers this may be accredited to that, them, that right of Christianity, that, um, what's the prayer about? Ugh, stop. Uh, Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, have mercy on me, a sinner. So you're calling out on the name of the, calling out the name of the Lord. Uh, and remember when Jesus, when uh, God speaks the word and the word is Jesus, things become a reality. So have mercy on me. So we're uh, sort of, when we call on Jesus' name, we, we help to call on that, that grace to ask Jesus to help things to go as God's will, which if we ask for God's will, we'll be okay. If we ask for our own will, well, not so much. So today, remember, to pray <sighs> to pray and to always be ready because we don't know when especially in these times in all times but we think that our time is the worst time ever and uh, we want to be ready when we come face to face with Jesus and he looks and says servant good and faithful servant you did a good job so I hope that moves you closer to God. If it doesn't, well, don't worry about it. You know what you're doing, right? Sure you do.